Hi, I wanted to give you a quick introduction on how some of these touchscreen models such as the DAQ6510 can improve your productivity. Now in this um, scenario, I've just got a simple starter piece of code here in Python. I've got a list of skippy commands that I want to send, send across to it. And, you know, if you're like me, maybe you've found a source of some Skippy code somewhere that you think is pretty close to what you want to do. So you've done some copying and pasting, and, and here it is. So I give it a run, and ugh, I've got a syntax error, a basic syntax error. And now I've got to find kind of my needle in the haystack. So one of the simple ways to go about that with these touchscreen models would be to go into the event log, And again, not too helpful here, but we can go under our log settings and we can turn on command logging. And it's going to give me a little uh, notice that it needs to go back into local control to allow me to make this change through the front panel, even the virtual front panel here. And then I can clear the log, so all that old error messages are gone now. I'll come back to my Python code and when I run it, okay again I have my syntax error but now as I look at the log here I can see the the line here right above where the syntax error occurred is indeed the source of it. And then if we look closely we can actually see the syntax problem. We've got a missing open parentheses. So let me come back over here. Let me clear this log. And then we'll go back to our code. Find that offending line. There it is. Save it. Now when I run it, no errors. We can get on with the rest of the code development. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, simple walkthrough of command logging and how it can improve your efficiencies.